10 cases in which people fell into animal enclosures at the zoo. Perhaps one of the fun things to do, especially if you have kids, is to visit the zoo. There, you and your family can see wild animals up close, as well as those animals who live on another side of the world. While zoos provide us with an opportunity to see these marvelous animals, they also have to consider the animals' comfort and their visitors' safety. You probably heard the story of Harambe, a western lowland gorilla who was shot dead at the Cincinnati Zoo after a kid fell into the enclosure. The unfortunate incident happened on May 28, 2016, a day after Harambe's 17th birthday. Before this, similar incidents occurred in different zoos across the globe. In this video, we'll talk about the 10 cases in which people fell into animal enclosures at the zoo. Some of them are accidents, while others chose to jump into the enclosure. Let's hear their stories right now. Number 1. Jersey Zoo Before the Harambe incident, a similar incident occurred in 1986 at Jersey Zoo in the United Kingdom when a little boy named Levin Merritt, who was 5 years old at the time, fell into the gorilla enclosure and lost consciousness. The little boy was bleeding, and one of the silverback male gorillas, named Jombo, approached the unconscious child. Jombo sat down and protected Merritt from other gorillas in the enclosure. When Merritt gained consciousness, he began to cry, which caused Jombo to run away. This gives the responders the opportunity to safely rescue the little boy. Number 2. Pittsburgh Zoo Another little boy, named Maddox Derkosh, fell into a zoo enclosure in 2012, and it unfortunately cost his life. The two-year-old boy fell into the wild African dog's pit at the Pittsburgh Zoo in Pennsylvania, United States. The incident happened when Maddox's mother, Elizabeth Derkosh, perched him atop the exhibit's protective railing on an observation deck to get a glimpse of African-painted dogs. Maddox lunged forward, slipped through his mother's arms, and dropped 10 feet into the pit, after bouncing off a net intended to collect things that accidentally fell into the exhibit. Soon after, a pack of dogs attacked Maddox, and he died before the help arrived. When the zookeepers came, the wild dogs moved away. However, one of the dogs was aggressive, and he was shot dead. Although the Dirkoshes and the zoo were involved in a lawsuit that was resolved in 2014, it was determined that Maddox's mother was innocent because it was an accident and the zoo met the safety regulations. Meanwhile, the observation deck was taken down and the dogs were moved to other zoos. Number 3. Brookfield Zoo Another case of a child falling into the gorilla enclosure happened at Brookfield Zoo in Chicago. In 1996, a three-year-old unnamed boy slipped away from his mother and fell 15 feet into the gorilla pit, where a female gorilla named Binti Jua approached him. Binti Jua is an eight-year-old rare western lowland who mothered the boy for a few minutes. She picked him up, cradled him into her arms, and even brought him to the paramedics. While doing all these, she is also carrying her 17-month-old baby on her back. The boy, on the other hand, surprisingly only had a broken hand with a few minor cuts. He was lucky, considering falling 15 feet onto the ground and being cared for by a giant gorilla. Number 4. Detroit Zoo Getting into animal enclosures at the zoo isn't always an unfortunate incident. This was proven by Rick Swope, a 33-year-old truck driver who jumped into the chimpanzee pit to save a drowning chimp in 1990. Swope couldn't stand watching the drowning chimp fight for his life, so he jumped into the pit without hesitation. He picked up the 135-pound chimp, brought him to the pool slope, and back to land. Throughout all these, there wasn't a time that the chimp tried to hurt Swope. 
and to thank this man's heroic action, which shocked his wife and three children, the chimp survived. The man, although warned by zookeepers to get out of the pit at first, was commended by the zoo and was cheered on by the visitors for his life-saving action. Number 5. Cleveland Metro Parks Zoo At the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo in Ohio, a two-year-old toddler fell into the cheetah pit in 2015. And with cheetahs being the fastest land animal on the planet, getting into their enclosure is the least you'd want in life. While they don't recognize humans as prey, there are still several cheetah attacks reported. When the boy fell 10 to 12 feet into the cheetah pit, his legs were injured, which makes the situation worse than it already is. But by miracle, the cheetahs in the enclosure ignored the presence of the boy. The parents, who followed him into the enclosure to retrieve him, were also ignored by these wild animals. According to onlookers, the boy was dangled over the railing, causing him to accidentally fall. The zoo officials wanted to seek out a child endangerment charge against the parents because they believe it was the parents' negligence that led to the accident. Number 6. Taipei Zoo In 2004, at a zoo in Taipei, Taiwan, a man named Cheng Jing Ho jumped into a lion pit after he shouted, Jesus will save you. When he got into the enclosure, one of the lions, a large male one with a shaggy mane, ripped his jacket off, jumped at him, and clawed and bit him before retreating. However, after getting back to his feet, Chen extended his arms toward the large cats, took up his jacket, and climbed out of the pit by himself. Meanwhile, the guards used water hoses and tranquilizer darts to drive the lion away. Chen is a 46-year-old mental patient who was diagnosed with psychological issues. According to a doctor from the hospital where Chen was admitted, Chen took this dangerous action because he imagined that he heard voices. Based on the newspapers, Chen was lucky because the lions were already fed earlier that day. Otherwise, he can be seriously hurt or even attacked to death. Number 7. Little Rock Zoo In 2014, a little boy fell into a jaguar exhibit at the Little Rock Zoo in Little Rock, Arkansas. The boy, whose name was not disclosed, went to the zoo together with his father and grandfather. While they were taking pictures, the little boy slipped under the rail. Onlookers reported that they saw two jaguars bite the boy on his neck and foot. However, they let go of the boy when his father and grandfather threw things at them, including a camera bag and a water hose spool. When the zoo staff arrived, they used a fire extinguisher to drive away the jaguars. The poor little boy was in critical condition when he was brought to the hospital. He was treated for major scalp lacerations, skull fractures, and minor puncture wounds. He was discharged after being in the hospital for a week. Number 8. Nandan Kanan Zoo In 2012, in India, a man who wanted to commit suicide to escape his wife's nagging jumped into a lion enclosure. There, two lions named Chris and Priyanka were waiting for him. Sir Yanyaran Das, the 45-year-old man who was sick of listening to his wife's nagging, was rescued. However, it was not before Priyanka pounced on him. Witnesses helped by shouting and throwing stones at the lion. Meanwhile, the man suffered injuries, including on his skull, cheeks, neck, hands, and legs. He regained consciousness at the hospital. Number 9. Sea Land of the Pacific the sea land of the Pacific was once the Canadian version of SeaWorld. On February 21, 1991, one of Sealand's trainers named Kelty Byrne was killed by an orca named Tilikum. The 20-year-old Byrne fell into the pool where there were three orcas. Tilikum pushed her to the bottom of the water, after which she drowned. One of the witnesses, named Nadine Collin, shared that Byrne tried to get back out, and there was another girl who tried to help her, 
However, the orca grabbed her foot and pulled her under. The orcas seemed to not be satisfied as they bounced burn around the pool many times as she screamed for help. She died as a result of forced submersion by orca killer whales, according to the coroner. It took the employees two hours to recover her body from the whales. Byrne was the first of Tillicum's three victims. Number 10. Zoo Berlin In 2009, at the Zoo Berlin in Germany, a woman jumped into a polar bear's enclosure and swam with them after losing her job. Based on the news, the woman was a 32-year-old mother named Mandy Kay. She was saved after the zookeepers drove one of the polar bears away from the woman. It was later on revealed that the woman became depressed after losing her job, causing her to do such dangerous actions. One of the polar bears bit her, causing serious harm to her arms and legs. Although the marksmen were ready to shoot the polar bear, it did not come to that point. There are many cases in which people, accidentally or not, fell into animal enclosures at the zoo. May the incidents mentioned here be a warning to every human to take extra precautions while visiting the zoo. It is better to be proactive than reactive and be wary of your surroundings all the time. And that concludes our video of the 10 cases in which people fell into animal enclosures at the zoo. Which among these stories made your heart clench? Or perhaps you have another story you'd want to share with us. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. This has been Wild Facts. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.